the news that he has discovered the ontology of being, following his great teacher who he broke with Althusser, discovering dialectical materialist truth of all of reality. It is an infinite chain of multiplicity in their singularity, and there's no end to it. That is the truth of all of us. We, you're a multiple, you're a multiple, I'm a multiple. This table's a multiple, this cocaine's a multiple. Uh, and that's the truth of ontological reality. Now what that means is there can be no shift in what is constituted as ontological underpinning of everything that is. Now that's not Marx, right? Because Marx never separated historical materialism from dialectical materialism. What can change is not just the social relations between human beings, you can change the whole fundamental structure of reality in the world. Um, but that's not, it cannot be true uh, in Badu because he believes he has given uh, a set theoretic mathematical definition of ontological reality. The only change that can take place is on the order of appearance. Now, I'm going to read to you what he says about that, so he sums it up rather nicely, uh, in just what he thinks he's achieved. In my work, this translates into, and what is it, and let me go one sentence further. In any case, our maxim is philosophy must enter into logic via mathematics, not mathematics via logic. In my work, this translates into Mathematics is the science of being qua being. Logic pertains to the coherence of appearance. And if the study of appearance also mobilizes certain areas of mathematics, this is simply because following an insight formalized by Hegel, but which actually goes back to Plato, it is the essence of being to appear. This is what maintains the form of all appearing within a mathematicizable transcendental order. But here, once again, transcendental logic, which is part of mathematics tied to contemporary sheet theory, holds sway over formal or linguistic logic, which is ultimately no more than superficial translation of the former. Reiterating the we I used earlier, I will say mathematics teaches us about what must be said concerning what is, not about what is permissible to say what we think there is. So in other words, there is a strong must, and ontology tells us exactly what is, and there is no change in that. So whatever has to go on now in revolutionary action has to be on the level of the I really would like to get through, get through all this before we start taking the questions, because I know there's going to be a lot. Um, that an advanced modification of the system of rules of appearance the transcendental of the world. Remember in Kant, you have the transcendental categories of the understanding, which explain why all objects must appear in space and time. <coughs> in his debate with Zizek, Zizek actually says he's quite Kantian, and he is. Things must appear in a particular way, and there's rules governing them. Of course, there's not the categories of the understanding. These rules are very comprehensible, and they can explain to us why there can be changes on the level of appearance. But as we've seen, the reason an event can't have any materiality is that it goes against the principles of ontology of what is. Therefore, it happens and it disappears. Consists fundamentally in the re-evaluation of an inexistence, such as the former inexistence obtains a strong maximal intensity of existence. Now, the example um, Badu gives over and over again in all his work, right? is when those who have been thrown out of society, who are in existence in terms of society, take on maximal intensity. And he keeps using the example of when the sans papier took over a particular church and made a number of prescriptive demands on the state. He does now a lot for prescriptive demands on the state um, as consistent with his notion of total subtraction from the state. 